Stephen Hall here in Rhinebeck, New York, and this is our Kafka Cultural and Health Center, a, a very exciting project. Um, it, it contains all the, the, the cultural programs, rooms for game rooms, board games, a gymnasium, a library, cafes that open out, um, an auditorium. And this building is a health building that contains a pharmacy, observation rooms, doctors and nurses, uh, lounges, um, and a uh, nursery school. So the project is really a kind of an ideal cultural gift back to a large housing project with very big blocky buildings. And for this project, and it's right on the river, so there's a kind of beautiful landscape possibility. And I had this idea of clocks and clouds based on a 1966 book by Karl Popper, where he divides the world into clocks, everything that's rational, and clouds, things that we can't quite figure out. And, so, and anyway, he was the philosopher of science and, and, and contended that one of our biggest problems as humanity is we try to make clocks out of everything when in fact they're clouds. So this notion of these circles, these clocks, makes the whole public space the central element. And you can see both buildings shape that curved space. And then there's a series of curved landscape elements that carry that theme. And then the notion of a kind of cloud-like cutting is occurring in the concrete of the facades, the sort of free form and the cloud opening where the big stair comes in. And this was very exciting uh, 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 as a concept, but in my mind, I was gonna paint it white. It was gonna be white stained or white painted concrete. But when we saw the construction, it was so interesting in raw concrete because of the small elements that they used for the form types, very close together, like little dots. And we convinced them not to paint it. So it has this gray cloud-like quality. The cultural centers glass at the base opens to the cafe and opens out to many of the activities of the public and there are green roofs so it's a sort of state-of-the-art ecological uh, building as well as the landscape We worked with the idea of these courtyards of light in both buildings. And the cultural center is, is actually a courtyard that is in the middle of the footprint. It's not a big footprint in the building, but it benefits from having a central element of light. In the health center, the building that we're in right now, this courtyard of light takes the shape of an atrium space, which you can see right here. And it's a space that bathes all the interior with natural light, and it becomes a place of orientation because it's the place where people move up into the building, into the different floors of the building. But also at every floor, the corridors are within this atrium or courtyard of light. The public plaza that we formed between the two buildings merges seamlessly with the Punan Canal landscape. Uh, the canal landscape is a series of different stations, sort of expanded areas of the canal landscape that serve uh, people who want to stroll and just enjoy the outdoors. And in this case, in the case of our plaza, there's a gained sense of um, civic space in the fact that the two buildings are public and they serve the community. And it's very interesting, the project is not technically finished yet, but people have already claimed ownership of this public space. They come out at night usually, when the temperature is more forgiving, when the buildings are lit up, to enjoy a very unique new environment for them.